Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a uh, hard reset on this Galaxy S6 and at the same time a Google bypass. So if you guys forgot your Google email or if you have any problem to log into your phone again, then you can just follow the steps and then you can see other videos that we already did, uh, you know, a method, different methods for you guys to, you know, follow and get your email bypass again. Okay, so first we're going to hold the volume up button power button and the, uh, the home menu button all at the same time so click on them keep holding there you go okay next step we're gonna just scroll down with the volume down button Go all the way to uh, uh, Wipe Data Factory Reset and then select with the power button and then scroll down with the volume uh, home button all the way till yes delete all user data and then we select with the power button and just wait for your phone to restart and reformat then click on reboot system now click on the power button to select it and now all you have to do is just wait but make sure guys that your phone is already charged over 50 percent just so you don't have any interruptions you know uh, of reinstalling your system okay so i will show you once the phone turn on once the phone turn on we're just gonna click on the left uh, i mean on the this arrow and then connect to your Wi-Fi connection on my case this is the one and if you do guys do have a password just you know insert type your password click on connect and then just go back there you go to the home page okay so next step we click on emergency call you're gonna put 112 and click on dial and then we go to more and click on message right here we're gonna type www.google.com click on send You just hang up on that one and then click here on send there you go you can see it's on the top click on it and then here you open with the browser just once accept and continue no thanks and we are on the internet we are on the internet now and right here we're gonna type quick shortcut maker on the search click on search and then we go to this website quick shortcut maker 2.4 click on it and then we're gonna load it this one download apk file type this is a shortcut it's gonna show exactly like this guy click on ok it's loading ok next option go back to the google home page and then we're gonna type Samsung Galaxy Apps okay and then we scroll down we go to the Samsung Galaxy website
we go up let me see it's loading we go to this let me see this logo right here right here let me just make it closer so you guys can see it right here we click on it the next step we go right here Hold on. I agree to the term start yes okay we go to the search we're gonna type es file explorer right here we select it and then we'll try to download it click on it it's loading and here they're asking for an account if you guys do already have an account you just you know put your email and password if you don't just create an account it's very easy since you're already connected to the internet you can create it very quick on my case i do have an email i'm just gonna type it right there password i'm gonna show you the next step yeah okay once i typed my email and password you will see it's loading like this Okay, so we go right here, accept and download. Go and play right here. And then we go to download and then we install that quick shortcut maker that we had before so I click on it install and then for the reason to install it we will have to go uh, to unknown sources so we click on settings and then we'll have to enable this option like this we have to enable it click yes okay and here we go to install okay so we we go right here click on open put this on the search bar we put google account manager manager okay and then we go to google account manager click on it scroll down we have to go to google account manager type email and password we choose this one click on it and then we go to try and here they're asking for us to put the password we're not going to we're just gonna click on the three dots and then we're gonna click on browse browser sign in click on ok count with and here we have to create to click and put like any email gmail account that you have or if you don't just create a new one on my case i'm just gonna type mine and the password and i'm gonna show you the next step okay so i put my email and password and we're gonna click on sign in okay so once it goes back we're just gonna press and restart the phone keep holding 
restart the phone start and mm -hmm. see you in a little bit okay after the phone restart we're just gonna go next and my wi-fi is still connected go next if you choose this one go next agree and just wait for the device to reinstall the apps okay so once the phone finish installing the apps you're gonna see this message message that account was added go next okay if you want to put the screen lock you can for my case I'm just going click on skip skip anyway more click on more next okay back up and sync later for myself you can back it up if you want just set up uh, wake up command later I'm not gonna set it up right now later for the fingerprint finish there you go now what we have to do your phone is back on what we're gonna do right Click on the option. That's if you want to click on this, just agree and go to the settings. Go all the way to backup and reset. Click on it. And then we go all the way right here and we're going to do a factory data reset. Click on it. Reset device as you can see right here the two account that they have this is for the Samsung account and this one for Gmail So you're gonna reset the phone. So this one will be brand new click delete all Okay, and let's just wait until the phone turn on and this is the last step. Let's just stay with us okay once the phone turn on we're gonna go do the same steps again go next connect to your Wi-Fi my case just gonna type the Wi-Fi password click on next go next right here skip anyway next agree and then we have to wait again for this app to be installed okay so we go and skip okay and here we now we can see skip before we cannot bypass it so now we go skip skip this option if you want to put your name you can In my case I'm just gonna go next skip skip anyway more next here if you want to put your uh, Samsung account which is good if you want to if you decide not to you don't have to so just go in progress go skip skip later later finish and there you go guys your phone is back and up and running let's see here just if you want to install some voice data you don't have to just click on home button and let's go to the setting just to make sure that there is no accounts saved up so we go account right here and there you go there is no account your phone is running up like brand new so thank you guys for watching if you like the video just subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos we do have a lot of uh, methods for google bypasses you can see our videos already uh, it's even more than 40,000, and it's a hundred percent legit and it works a hundred percent the only thing sky um just please because we see like it's a high number of viewers it's over 40,000 uh, we have some other you know videos with 7,000 but the likes it's only about like 100 or something so guys please uh, those likes helps us to you know continue give you the honest you know way to bypass your Google I know it's hard once your phone is locked up but the only things 
that will make us you know the hard working for you get you those videos it's just your likes and your comments so please to keep us like always you know giving you good videos likes all the time every day you watch the video click on like subscribe to get the latest videos thank you guys so much and see you soon with another videos and always a hundred percent method that works great see you guys and thank you for watching global skills channel